Hello. Um, thought I'd give an update on the auger boring machine project I'm working on. Um, when I mentioned that, I posted the video, I think it was back in January, February, uh, that I was building an auger boring machine for a company to install culverts and concrete culverts under highways. Um, what we're looking at right now is a, a rolled cylinder we just got in the shop about a week ago. Um, this is one of the components of the machine. This is uh, this piece is essentially where the mud falls out of the pipe after. Uh, I, I, I don't know if anyone remembers from that video, but essentially what you do is you push a pipe through the ground, and inside the pipe you have an auger that turns, and the front of the auger carves away at the dirt that's inside the pipe, and the rest of the auger pulls the dirt back out of the pipe. That dirt will fall into this um, big rolled cylinder we have here. And then there'll be paddles in there that push it out a hole in the side. And uh, if we look in the background here, there's this sort of chute uh, that we're getting ready to just tack together right now. We're getting ready to weld it. And it mounts on here. And these marks are just, we test fitted it. And my father-in-law just uh, marked it and then cut holes with a torch as a guide. Uh, the next step is we'll take the chute which we've got the parts laser cut to match the radius of the can and we'll set it on and then he'll weld it all in place and then when he's done he can go from the inside and pick up those corners with a torch and just cut this out and make a hole in it and then um, this chute will actually be over here the can is rolled over 90 degrees from where it'll sit on the machine but the chute will be out the side and as the mud falls in the paddles go around pick it up and it'll fall out on the side um, that's the very front end of the machine and this is the progress we've made on the rest of it so far um, this is what I'm calling the sled it's sitting on a piece of the skid the skid is this piece that's made up of C channels and cross members. Um, the actual skid is a, the rest of it is about twice as long as this piece and it gets bolted together. Um, anyways, the sled is here and the cylinder I was just talking about mounts on the front, on this front frame. And <clears throat> In the middle of this skid, you can see there's a couple of bosses there with holes bored in them. Um, in there mounts an auger, a screw anchor motor, screw anchor driver, I guess you'd call it. And that is right here. We finally got it back in our shop so we can do some test fitting. Um, this is the unit here and it's got pin in the back and that pin or the pin holes and there'll be a pin goes through there and connects to the bosses on the sled and then the front has this pilot diameter and a bolt pattern and i'm going to uh, make a cradle for that to sit on so it'll be supported by the pin in the back and the weight of the front will be held on a cradle So the motor will sit in here, it'll be pinned here, we have some brackets to weld here for the cradle to sit on, and when it's in place, just the shaft will stick through here, and that will drive the paddles that eject the mud, and also drive the auger that'll be in the pipes that head out in that direction. That piece there is the back wall of, the, of that cylinder, the hole in the middle there is where the motor from that shaft will pass through um, and then at the back this is the pushing block at the back um, this is made up of entirely a one inch thick plates so I got a plate here that spans the full width and then this top plate spans the full width there's a bottom plate that's the same and then there's one in the middle that passes the whole length. And then wherever there's 
force being applied or taken off from this, like where these frame members are, there are one inch gussets welded in behind to stiffen this plate and it doesn't really show up here, but right about here is where the pushing unit is gonna push on this whole thing with its single hydraulic cylinder which can apply a maximum of 150 tons of force. So I have to make a bit of a ring here for the cylinder to sit in, and there's a pin that drops in that kind of crudely but effectively holds the cylinder to the pushing block for when they want to retract. Because once you get to the end of the skid and you've pushed a pipe in, you need to bring this whole thing back to the beginning of the skid, drop another pipe in, and then push it. So there's a pin here that allows them to pull back on this sled to reset for the next pipe. Um, the sled rides on these shoes here and here, and it, you can't really see it, but what I've done is I've machined out a cavity and there's threaded holes because I'm putting, I'm gonna make some uh, plastic shoes for it to ride on, which are replaceable. Um, anyways, this is the progress so far. Uh, I don't really have a good drawing or anything of this to show the overall how it goes together, but um, the next time I update, we'll probably have all the major components in place and it might be a little easier to see. Um, but this is what I've managed to do over the summer. I haven't been working on this full time. I've uh, had another pretty big project going on since May. That's taken up a lot of my time. Um, but we're now back on this sort of full time and hopefully we'll have it completed within the month or so. Thanks for watching.